Hi everyone, welcome to Perfections, the channel that is all about perfume perceptions. If you're new here, welcome! I hope you will like the video and in that case, please consider subscribing to the channel. Give it a big thumbs up and activate notification bell. If you're coming back, I'm really happy to have you here again and I hope you all will enjoy this video. Today I'm going to talk about the latest flanker of the Dolce line by Dolce Gabbana. This is an eau de toilette and it just came out in 2022 for the upcoming spring and summer. The name of the flanker is Dolce Lily, as we said, and this should be a stargazer lily centric uh, type of perfume. I'll tell you right off the bat, it's not. It's a beautiful fruity perfume in my opinion. Let me read you first the notes as of Fragantica. So the notes are passion fruit, bergamot and lemon. 100% so. You totally smell all of them in the opening. None of them is missing. All of them are there. And the passion fruit is the star of the show. Then in the middle you should have lily and rose. And base notes are musk, sandalwood and vanilla. What I can tell you is that this is a strong passion fruit perfume. I think it should be named Passion, Dolce Passion, <laughs> because the lily is not even perceptible. I'm a big fan of lily based perfumes. In particular, I really love Stargazer Lily. I know some people find it decadent, but I love it. I love its waxiness, some of its almost indolic uh, aspects. I like its slight powderiness. I like everything about it. I have several Lily perfumes, um, different types of Lily perfumes, and I also have found one that in my opinion really smells like Stargazer Lily. And there are, you know, several perfumes uh, with different takes. This one is not a Lily perfume in my opinion. It's a beautiful perfume. It's a very nice, uplifting, sparkling, um, happy, cheerful perfume for spring and summer around the note of passion fruit. So if you love passion fruit, if you're looking for almost the perfect passion fruit scent, there you go. You have it. It's here. It's Dolce Lily. So yeah, this should have been named Dolce Passion. I will tell you even more. I do have, because I like it, another passion fruit perfume which is this one by the merchant of venice so this perfume is a passion fruit perfume right i can tell you this is more floral than dolce lily this has less prominent of a passion fruit note than dolce lily so if i were to tell you what's the best passion fruit perfume between these two, I would say Dolce Lily. I mean, it's almost unbelievable, but this is this is a passion fruit perfume, don't get me wrong, okay? But it has a stronger, somehow a more prominent floral background. And by the way, this is a unisex. And also this one is in my opinion, because how could passion fruit have a gender? Anyway, uh, and this is also a passion fruit perfume where passion fruit is way more prominent in comparison to the florals i don't detect um i don't detect any florals per se i can detect that there's something that is uh, giving some background uh, not creaminess but you know like substance to the fruity accords and i guess that's where the florals are playing a role in dolce lily but that's it there's nothing more to it so if you are looking for a passion fruit perfume, go for Dolce Lily. If you're going looking for a Lily perfume, don't go for Dolce Lily. That's not a Lily perfume. If you're looking for a cheerful, uplifting, um, sparkling, fruity, spring, summer perfume, you can go for Dolce Lily. Performance-wise, this is not great. And uh, of course, we never expect it to be because it's another toilette. So essentially, it will last you four hours, maximum five and um, for all of the time it will mostly smell as passion fruit but like you know in my opinion the most prominent note is 
always is the passion fruit. So yeah, even when it's dried down, you can still smell the passion fruit. So yeah, so I think it's a very nice passion fruit perfume. It's not a stargazer lily perfume. And that's about it. I mean, I'm happy that I bought it. I actually have had read that uh, this was more of a fruity rather than floral perfume, uh, in, you know, according to some people on Fragrantica and Perfumo and uh, other channels. And essentially, um, I told myself, I do love passion fruit. I only have one perfume, which is the Merchant of Venice one or with the most with a prominent passion fruit note. So I told myself, let's just buy and buy it because even if it's, it's not gonna be a lily perfume it will be a passion fruit perfume and i really love passion fruit so i wanted to make this video to let you know i hope that this will save you from buying the wrong perfume uh especially if you go blind of course you know because if you test it you you will immediately know there's no prominent lily in here if you like the video if you want to see more of this type of content, please subscribe to the channel, activate the notification bell and don't forget to hit like for this video. I hope to see you again in my next videos. Have a good one. Bye!